Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and here is the official tutorial and uh, how to use the brand new iRig MIDI with Sample Tank from MacMixing.com. We're going to be using Sample Tank today, and so I kind of just want to show you how to get it all set up here. Um, obviously, you want to make sure that you have this plugged in to your phone. You just want to make sure that you have it plugged in there. That's going to be the most important part. And so what you have to make sure that you have though guys, is you really have to make sure that you have this app installed. iRig MIDI Recorder. Look it up in the app store, it's free. It's called iRig MIDI Recorder. That actually enables the iRig MIDI device to function with your iPhone. So you gotta have that app installed and open for it to work. Um, so basically once you're done, once you're once you have it downloaded, you just open it up. You can close it after that, but you can also record just MIDI patterns with it as well. So it serves as a dual functionality, which can be very useful in uh, many different ways here. And so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how to hook it up. Right here I just have a little Oxygen 8 keyboard. That's uh, something I have laying around, but it's something that a lot of people have. So this is gonna be a very common setup method for a lot of you guys. Uh, what you wanna do, is you want to take one of your MIDI cables here and let's undo the twisty tie the twisty tie and okay so we're gonna take this cable here and we're gonna plug it into the input on the iRig MIDI device and we're gonna take the other end of this MIDI cable right here and we're gonna plug it into the output of our keyboard so let me move my phone so I don't drop it you just gotta flip the keyboard over here and on the back of your uh, MIDI keyboard you should have a MIDI out right there so you just want to take this and it says top right here it's hard to see I know you guys can't but it says top right there so you know which way to plug it in and just kinda push it right in there just like that and then we're done with that we're all hooked up to the MIDI keyboard and ready to go you can flip on your keyboard here uh, depending on how your keyboard operates, this is USB and MIDI, so I actually have to go in here and set it to uh, the MIDI out that I want it to be on. And there we go. So now we're all hooked up here and ready to go. And it's all set up, so what you can see now is when I press these keys, you can see the lights flashing on the iRig MIDI device. That's how you know that you have signal and everything is connected properly. If you don't see a light blinking when you're hitting your keys, something's not set up right. Check your settings on your keyboard, check your settings on the phone, Make well not your settings on the phone, make sure that iRig MIDI recorder, uh, you have that open and just running in the background. Because it will run in the background just like that. I don't even have it up now as you can see here. I don't have it up and I still get MIDI signal. So. That's how you know that it's working and everything is set up properly. So now what we're going to do here is I'm going to launch Sample Tank. And you can download Sample Tank from the App Store. There's a free version and a paid version. So let's see here. Go open up Sample Tank. And there we go. Sample Tank is open. And it'll probably open up on a screen similar to this. This is the main screen where you have basically all your banks of sound. Um, now. All these sounds aren't included in the free version. There's limited sounds in the free version, and then there's a full version, and then you can actually buy extra sound packs. And they are super high quality, guys. I was playing with this before I did this video. Have to be honest about that. But what we're gonna do is I am going to uh, just kind of feed this audio into my camera so you guys can just hear some of the sound quality. Um, and what you can also do is you can plug in headphones into this jack here. And that's actually kind of what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to plug a splitter into this, uh, into my iPhone here, so that I can run one cable to my camera and I can have a headphone monitor of the other one. So check it out. All right, so guys, as you can see, I have the device all set up here and uh, I'm ready to play basically. And you can just scroll through here and you can sound, you can uh, select sounds from here. There's all. There's tons of sounds, you guys. Yeah, if you buy the sample packs, guys, there are tons of sounds in uh, iRig MIDI here. 
So um, I'm just going to select the piano. I want you to hear how awesome this piano sound is. I mean, you will be wowed from your iPhone. I, I, I kid you not. Check this out. So, I mean, I'm not the greatest piano player in the world, but, I mean, that sounds awesome to me. It sounds like it's got really good sound to it. And like I said, there are tons of sounds in here. Let me kind of get this in, in the frame here real quick. And I'm just going to kind of go through some of the sounds here so you guys can get an idea of what they're working with. So, let's see here. Hold it like that. So we have bass guitars. Different types of basses. Um, there's also organs in here, electric pianos, there's guitars. Let's see, I wanna hear what the acoustic sounds like. Just a regular plain old acoustic. Studio acoustic, there we go. Pretty high quality samples if you ask me. Um, I've played around with a lot of different audio recording software and this sounds pretty good to me. Uh, we also have strings, let's check out the strings. Pretty, pretty decent string sounds. Oh my gosh. Uh, and, you know, guys, this is essentially made for uh, live performances and, uh, you know, tracking and multi track environment. You can't actually record within Sample Tank itself. But for me, uh, there are plenty of other viable options for me to get the sound from here to wherever I want. And uh, you can actually even record uh, the MIDI pattern on your computer and run it through here through. Uh, the MIDI in and then run it back out to your DAW so you can play it in perfect time. And uh, we, let's see, we also have synths. Pretty good sounds, man. And I can't, I wish I had the time to just go through all of these with you guys because they are amazing. You know what, one thing I'm very picky about though is how brass sounds and I haven't heard the brass on here so I do want to hear how it sounds. Let's see, oh well, symphonic brass, let's check that out. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. Um, let's see, we also have woodwinds, there's chromatics, there is uh, like voice sounds, oohs and ahs, and ethnic like sitars, percussion, we have sound effects, what's in the sound effects? That's pretty awesome, you have some rain sound. So, you know guys, we have all these sound banks here, not all these are available in the free version. Um, you do have to upgrade if you want extra sounds. But you know what, that's okay. They worked really hard on this and you know, I think overall iRig MIDI is a quality product itself. And it does work with other MIDI applications. And I will show you guys how to do this at another time, but I wanted to give you a full in-depth tutorial on uh, how to use uh, iRig MIDI. And you also have this output here. You can output to an external MIDI device as well. So that's just something to think about. Uh, thank you guys very much. You know, I hope you enjoyed this and please subscribe. Click the link right here. Meow, meow, meow. And uh, our Twitter link is right here. Meow. Our Facebook link is here. Meow. And, you know, thank you guys. Visit MacMixing.com. This is Dom from MacMixing.com and have a great day.